What's up everybody, Lucio from Solutions, long two weeks, but I am done with this garage now. I installed baseboards, I did texture on all the walls, I ripped out a bunch of stuff that was here, I painted the cabinets, I installed some up uh, storage up on top of the attic, I put new plywood on top of there, I, I dropped in four of these uh, recessed lightings. I did some modifications to the walls here. I did some transition piece that <clears throat> that uh, transition of two the two thicknesses of the walls. And I installed some shelves, two 10 foot uh, 10 foot shelves, 10 foot long by 12 inches wide. These are 21 inches apart. And then I install the shelf right there on top of the uh, <clears throat> top of the dryer and the water softener. And I created some attics. I, I made an attic access up there. I put some trim around the edges on the ceiling here. Uh, let me show you the rest of the recess lighting. Let me move. This is, this is blocking the garage sensor. But there it is. I put some wooden trim around the attic axis so it doesn't get bumped when they put something in there. They hit the corners of the drywall. But I saw these four lights. There only used to be one light there. I pulled electricity from there, ran it up, ran up wires, and then distributed to these four recessed lighting. I also textured and drywalled above the garage door. So I did some knockdown texture. I put some insulation along all this wall, all this wall right here. And I did some, some knockdown texture. You can see it. There it is. This was, uh, I was here for a good two, two weeks, 